Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video, I'm going to speak about how much it costs in living expenses when you're attending business school in Paris. I'm going to give you a realistic view of how much it's going to cost for rent, for groceries, the student restaurant at HEC, eating out, partying, your phone plan, transport and all the other miscellaneous expenses that can come up when you're a business school student. Your life as a business student is going to be a bit different from the usual. So I'm going to tackle this video from that perspective. Throughout this video, I've always estimated on the higher side rather than the lower side because I think it's better that you're pleasantly surprised rather than being shocked. Before we begin, I also want to ask you to hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be uploading more content just like this and you don't want to miss any of it. All right, now let's talk about your monthly expenses when you're at HEC. Your biggest single expense every month will be your rent. At HEC, if you take a studio on the student residence on campus, the rent is somewhere around 600 euros a month. And this is what I personally recommend, at least for your first year. However, as you're a student, you can avail this benefit called CAF, which is a rental subsidy that's offered by the French government. The subsidy amount can vary on different factors and also a little bit on your luck, but on average, you can get about 30% of your rent back every month. But it's important to know that you shouldn't depend on getting this money quickly because it can take a couple of months for it to be processed and for it to actually show up in your account. But you will get it eventually. All right, so for our sample budget, I'm going to take 400 euros every month for rent after accounting for the CAF money, even though you won't get it initially. Your second expense is on food and groceries. In 2018 and 2019, the average cost of a meal at the HEC student restaurant or the RU as we call it was around 5 euros. Now you're probably going to realize that you're not going to want to eat all of your lunches and dinners there. But if you did, you would be spending somewhere between 200 and 250 euros a month on the RU alone. Now, on the other hand, if you plan to cook all of your meals, things might look a little bit different. And this depends on what you cook and what you like to eat. Right now, I'm living and working at home during my gap year and I spend somewhere around 200 euros a month on groceries and I cook all of my meals at home. And this includes knickknacks and snacks and other tiny little things that I don't actually really need but I just buy because I want them. However, I'm sure you can get by with much less if you adjust your habits. This is just a really safe estimate. Or you can even manage to spend more if you really wanted to. So you can imagine that if you balance cooking, eating at the RU, getting coffee and other snacks from the vending machines, you'll be spending somewhere around 300 euros a month on food and groceries alone. I think that's a really safe estimate, probably again on the higher side, but that's what I'm going to take for our sample budget. Eating out is another place that you'll be spending a bunch of your money every month. The cost of eating out in Paris really largely depends on where you're eating and what you're eating, but in general, it costs around 12 to 15 euros for a meal. And it can be a bit more if you take a drink or a dessert. If you consider that you're gonna be eating out twice a week, probably on the weekends, that'll cost you somewhere around 120 euros a month. And that's what I'm gonna take for our sample budget for this exercise. And of course, you can adjust this for what you think you'll be doing. Partying and going out. This is something that you should definitely add to your budget, even if you don't drink, because I think this is a major part of the HEC life. Just to give you a lowdown, an entry into the party of the week costs 15 euros, but as an international student, you're probably not going to be attending a lot of those. A beer at the campus bar costs around 2 euros. However, most of the parties are organized by the students themselves, whether it's in the residences or outside at the lake. And these are more of a BYOB situation. If you go out partying in Paris, it's obviously going to cost you a lot more including food, drink, and a shared Uber because HEC is in the middle of nowhere and you're gonna need those to get back home. You can probably end up spending 30 to 40 euros every time you go out at the minimum. But since I never did this that much, I really can't say for sure. For the purpose of our sample budget, I'm gonna assume that you party on the campus and I'm gonna take between 20 to 40 euros every month for this. Of course, depending on how much you drink or even lower if you don't. The next part is transport. So as a student under the age of 27, you're eligible for a Navigo Imaginar card. And as an HEC student, you've got two options, getting a Navigo or not. If you don't get a Navigo, you'll be paying close to five euros each way from HEC to Paris. And once you're in Paris, you'll be paying one euro 90 for every trip you take. If you do get a Navigo, it'll be about 350 euros for the entire year. And you can travel as much as you want without paying anything more. It's also far more convenient because then you just have a card that you just have to swipe every time you use the train and you don't have to bother with buying paper tickets every time and managing them. 350 euros a year comes down to about 30 euros a month. Aside from the 30 euros every month that you're gonna spend on your Navigo, you're also gonna spend money on the bus shuttles that take you from HEC to Paris because they're much quicker and a lot of your friends will probably want to use them. Then there are Ubers that you might end up taking every now and then especially if you're returning late at night from Paris. So all things considered, for a sample budget, I'm gonna take 50 euros every month for transport. 
So the next one is your phone plan. This is actually much cheaper than I expected it to be. If you use a service like Red by SFR, you can get a plan for somewhere around 10 to 15 euros per month. And this gives you 60 GB of data, a couple of GB of data roaming in Europe, unlimited calls and text messages, as well as unlimited calls and texts in Europe for when you travel. In fact, in my first year, I got really lucky and I got a plan for 5 euros a month that gave me about 15 GB of data per month. I only changed that plan when I went to the US and I needed a plan with US roaming as well. Unfortunately, when I came back to France, that 5 euro plan wasn't there anymore, but who knows, you can get really lucky as well. So as of now, the total for our sample budget is about 910 euros. Of course, there's gonna be things that randomly pop up every month and you know, some months you just choose to buy yourself something really nice, other months you decide to go out a bit more than usual and it's all always good to keep some extra space in your budget for those things. Let's add 90 euros as a buffer and make it an even 1000 euros per month that you can budget to spend at HEC. Also, you also want to consider some one-time expenses. In the beginning, when you arrive, there's going to be a lot of one-time expenses. Setting up your room with stuff from IKEA, buying certain appliances from Amazon, paying for the HEC alumni network, buying many one-time groceries to set yourself up, paying for the welcome week events and so on. In the beginning, you're also more likely to go out a lot more to meet and connect with other people. You'll also be super excited to go into Paris and roam around with your newfound friends. All of these things are gonna cost you and not to mention that your Navigo, if you choose to take one, is gonna take some time to arrive and until then you'll be paying a la carte for every trip that you take into Paris. I would set aside around 1000 euros for these one-time expenses. Now, something that a lot of people ask me about is part-time jobs. Honestly, I don't think you should depend on it. The HEC course is really, really demanding and then finding internships and other opportunities is a full-time job in itself and you don't really want anything to distract you. You simply won't have the time to do part-time jobs when you're at HEC. And this is not to mention that HEC is in the middle of nowhere and there aren't that many opportunities to begin with. All right, so to sum up once again, I would set aside a realistic budget of around 1,000 euros every month for living expenses when you're at HEC. You can definitely do it cheaper, but I've kind of overestimated the amount so that you're not shocked and you're more pleasantly surprised instead. Of course, this amount will go up or down depending on what your own personal lifestyle is. And you also want to keep a one-time setup budget of around 1,000 euros for when you arrive. There you go, guys. I hope this video gave you a very thorough and comprehensive view of how much it costs to live on campus at HEC. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and otherwise hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be uploading more content just like this and I don't want you to miss any of it. You can also follow me on Instagram at the handle given down below. Alright, see you guys in the next one.